Happy 80th birthday, birthday Pepperdine. Pepperdine! Did you know that Pepperdine was originally located in South Los Angeles? Did you know that 53 alums have participated in the Olympics? To celebrate Pepperdine's 80th anniversary, G News has 10 fun facts about the university. Did you know that Willie went through a few changes before becoming the lovable mascot he is today? He first debuted in 1945 under the name Roland and experienced several phases, including a failed rebranding under the name King Neptune. He reappeared as Willie the Wave in 2006 and underwent a remodeling earlier this year. To choose the school's colors, Pepperdine's first president, President Batstill Baxter, appointed a special committee in 1937 to recommend color options. The committee presented the options blue and white, blue and maroon, and blue and gold for students to choose from. Students voted for blue and orange instead after Baxter recommended replacing gold with orange. Blue represents the Pacific Ocean and orange symbolizes the state of California. In 1937, during the first year of Pepperdine's opening, two students proposed the graphic as the name for the school newspaper because it contained the initials of George Pepperdine College, GPC. Pepperdine served as the official Olympic site for water polo when the Olympic Games were held in Los Angeles in 1984. Raleigh Reynolds Memorial Pool temporarily transformed into a first-rate Olympic venue, complete with grandstands and souvenir shops. Did you know that Dolores, also known as the creepy baby statue outside the calf, has been a part of Pepperdine since 1941? Students apparently named the statue after the song of the same title sung by Frank Sinatra. The statue that we have today is actually the second version of Dolores. The original statue mysteriously disappeared in the late 80s and the new Dolores was not installed on main campus until 2012. Pepperdine's first graduating class in 1938 consisted of four students. United States President Gerald Ford visited Pepperdine on September 20th, 1975. This was the first time a sitting president visited the university. Ford gave a speech at the dedication of Firestone Fieldhouse that day, where over 18,000 people were in attendance. Ronald Reagan has spoken in front of Pepperdine audiences on seven different occasions. One specific occasion was in 1970 at a dinner that revealed the architectural plans for the new Malibu campus, two years before Pepperdine made the official move to Malibu. Reagan was also the keynote speaker at the dedication ceremony of Seaver College in 1975. Pepperdine's first IP program launched in Heidelberg, Germany in 1963. For the first two years, the program operated out of various hotels before the house they use today was bought in 1965. Before Pepperdine bought the house, it was used to house refugees during World War II and then confiscated by the United States government to interrogate former Nazi officers. The monumental cross that overlooks the Pepperdine campus is called the Phillips Theme Tower. The tower was completed in 1973. There is a light inside the tower that can be lit up, but that has only happened twice in the university's history. The cross is 125 feet high and took 2,000 hours to complete. 